Hey guys, welcome to John and Evan's Fishing Adventures. I'm Evan Beal as usual, and today we're going to tie a simple marabou crappie jig. Now, since it's winter time here in Indiana, it's a great time to catch some panfish since they're the only thing biting. So I thought a panfish jig would be an appropriate fly tie to do. So we're going to start off by wrapping some white fly tying thread to the bend of the hook, as shown, and then cut off the tag end. Now for a tail of our little fly, we're going to add some marabou. Now marabou is a very fluffy feather used in fly tying, and it makes a really good undulating action in the water. And this will allow for your fly to look very realistic. <coughs> so we just tied that down. Um, I kind of changed my curtains so you can see this better. Cut off the tag end, bind down the extra, and you'll be ready for the next step. And you'll have your tail complete. Okay, so the next step is we're going to tie in some chenille. Now, chenille is a string with some bits of fiber spun into the string. And this will make a really big body for our fly. So it just kind of bulks out the fly's body so it looks a little bit more like a minnow. This is kind of the imitation I'm going for, but depending on the colors that you're going to use will depend on the pattern you're trying. So in this case, I'm trying to imitate a minnow with this. So I just tied down the chenille, and now I'm going to wrap it back to the front of the fly. Now, you, you're not going to wrap all the way to the front. You still need a bit of space for the next a few steps. And you might need to wrap the chenille over itself to make the body a little bit thicker because, you know, one layer might not be enough. Now, once you've done that, just tie it down, cut off the extra, and you're good. Now on to the next step, which is tying in the legs. Frankly, I don't think this is really necessary, and I even cut off the legs on mine. But if you want to add them in, just take a loop of rubber legs, and then tie them down. And then do some figure eight knots around the legs, so that way they're sticking straight out on the jig head. Then once you're done with that, cut the loop, and then cut the legs to your appropriate length that you want them to be. Okay, so now our next step is we're going to tie in some more chenille. Now this is some orange or red chenille because since this is a minnow pattern, I want to try to imitate a red throat. So I just wrap that the same way we did the white chenille, um, tied it down, cut it, and then wrapped down the extra. So now we're done with the fly. So now we need to tie down the thread. So the way we're going to do that is with a whip finish knot. Now lots of people don't know how to do this, so if you don't know, then just set your thread against the jig head and then apply a drop of super glue to your thread. This should just completely glue the thread to the side of the jig and will keep it in place with no knots required. Like so. Just add in that super glue and that will secure the jig. So there it is. Remember, the legs are optional, and you do not have to do it in this exact size and this exact color. But this is an example. I hope you enjoyed today's fly tying video. If you liked it, please comment, like, share. Well, you know what to do. You've been watching YouTube. So, thanks for watching, and again, we'll see you next time.